Watch Fox News at 10 is provided by a grant from the state of South Carolina. Coming up on Watch Fox News at 10. I had no idea that um, I was seeing anything like that when I got home. Picking up the pieces, people across the Midlands are looking to bounce back tonight after severe weather hit the region. Quieting down tonight regarding severe weather, but there's more on the way as we head into Thursday. I'll let you know. We don't always agree with her, but she always threw it straight. She has never pulled one political trick. The push for the White House, getting a boost from a man who's been there. Bill Clinton has a message for young voters in the Midlands. Don't be satisfied with where you're at now. Look at to where you are, where you're trying to go in the future. Signing on the dotted line, a local athlete making an impact this signing day. The News at 10 starts right now. Live from the Watch Fox Studios, this is Watch Fox News at 10. Well, tonight, the National Weather Service says a tornado briefly touched down in the Midlands this afternoon. This damage you're looking at right here near the state farmer's market likely caused by that system. Now, weather officials say it was an EF0 tornado that came through the Midlands today. Now, that is the lowest tier tornado on the scale. This is the area the National Weather Service says was affected by that brief touchdown. The area near Dixiana Road and Charleston Highway It was quick. But the system still left behind some significant damage. Well, that is where our Tara Pettit is tonight. Tara, what's the latest on the damage that is left behind this evening? Janet, right, Janet Bryan, right now there is still a handful of power outages and several people.